I'll uh, I just got two minutes, so I'll just okay. uh, jump into it. Um, uh, you've been an entrepreneur all, all of your life. Um, the first uh, company you uh, created was an internet uh, map company. Uh, uh, we did a bunch correct? of things. Um, it was internet uh, publishing, mapping, yellow pages, white pages, calendar. It, it basically, but what, what my first company really did was help bring the, a lot of the media companies online, um, I including uh, Hearst, Knight Ritter, and ironically, the New York Times company. Okay, and you sold it to Compaq for four million dollars as a twenty-six year old. Uh, yes. Oh, uh, well, at three hundred. Three hundred. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, oh can't. okay. Well, this um. is enough. And, and then you went on to create the PayPal. Uh, right. And then you became the second uh, largest shareholders in the, uh, was it eBay. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, so I was the largest shareholder of PayPal, and um, I guess a pretty well. well uh, uh, yeah, a pretty significant shareholder in, in eBay after yeah. the uh, acquisition. Yeah, but then together with the uh, the Norwegian Christian Adam, uh, you wrote the thesis. Uh, right, that's so right. You could have been. I think the... I think you still have a copy. Oh, right? yeah, I yeah, sent yeah. it to you. And, uh, yeah. Right, exactly. I have that on email. Yeah. Um, so we're not making this up, you know. It's no, like... no, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have the it's, proof. It's right, 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 exactly. Yeah, but the this thesis. Was Twenty uh, years ago. Yeah, yeah uh, but, but the thesis that was about uh, uh, that was Google, wasn't it? It, yeah, yeah. Essentially, so you could have made Google. We we could have made something I think similar to Google um, twenty years ago. Yeah, um, as as a Wharton thesis, it was. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> but now uh, tes Tesla. Uh, and, and actually, I'll tell you yeah, some, some funny other things, which is um, there were two other things. Uh, so, so two other things, sort of um, independently. That there was the, sort of the Google thing. But then there was one on uh, uh, ultra capacitors mm -hmm. uh, for use in electric cars, so energy storage for electric cars, and one for solar panels or so solar systems. Okay, okay. So, so uh, it's I'm no Johnny come lately to these industries. Yeah, <laughs> well, that's, that's <laughs> great. Unfortunately, of the three of them, we actually picked yeah. the two worst Google. <laughs> <laughs> right. But, what, but Tesla. Last question. Tesla. Uh, why will that be a success? Why, why would you do it when, for example, the Norwegian company Think didn't do it? Uh, why would you succeed? Sure. Well, for, for sure, electric cars are very difficult. Um, in fact, car companies in general are very difficult, um, uh, independent of electric cars. So the, uh, um, I, I think, I, I think, uh, next slide, I think. <laughs> um, well, um, with, with, in the case of Tesla, I think we finally got kind of a critical mass of, of, of talent to create a car and manufacture a car and, and the technology timing is right uh, to be able to create a compelling electric car, something, something that's really a great product that stands on its own whether or not it's electric. Hmm. I think that's sort of the critical threshold. Um, and in the past, uh, companies weren't able to really put together that critical mass of talent um, and resources and the technology, the sort of fundamental technology, wasn't um, quite ready. Um, and so they ended up making cars that were uh, not good value for money. They were either, they were a bit too expensive and, and, and the performance wasn't there, the range wasn't there. And so people would look at that and say, it doesn't make sense from a value for money standpoint. The range isn't long enough. It's, uh, you know, maybe got some other concerns that people have. And so, they didn't, uh, they didn't make it. Okay. Okay, thank you.